Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, it's Richie here, aka the Aquaman. Right, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Eheim Skim 350 or Eheim 350 Skim, whichever you prefer. It's the um, surface skimmer um, by a company called Eheim. Um, if you haven't heard of them, you must have been living under a rock or in a cave because they've been. Uh, going for I think it's 70 years and um, they were the first company to make a canister filter as we know it today um, and have pioneered quite a few different um, products on the market anyway um, back to the skimmer now uh, if you're an aquascaper um, or just an aquarium hobbyist, hobbyist that doesn't like any floating bits and pieces on there a surface of their water if you run an open tank like myself um, and a lot of um, professional aquascapers also use them just to skim the surface just to stop any um, of the oily residue or any bits of dust or small leaves or anything like that especially after a good trim of your plants um, then they're excellent but they have one major downfall and if you've ever owned one with small fish or shrimp you'll know exactly what I'm talking about they can be a fish or shrimp death trap. But there are a few ways you can get around it. The one way is you can buy fairly expensive replacement floats for them. Um, they're about 10, 10, or, 10 or 15 quid, something like that, for a little tiny bit of plastic that fits inside. But um, I'll show you how to make one for free. Um, Basically, and it's really simple, straightforward, take you about 10 minutes to make. Um, I'll take you over to the tank and I'll show you mine because I've actually lost a few auto sink lifts with the 350 skim and I've always wanted to do maintenance, always finding shrimp stuck in there. So I shall take you to my tank and I'll show you what I've done. Here's the skimmer doing its job and you'll notice that little black piece in the middle. And what that is, is a piece of plastic recycled from an old um, plant pot, aquarium plant pot, um, and it just sits on the top um, and just stops any little shrimp or fish getting sucked in. This is it, rudimentary I know, and uh, it's not my design, I have to admit. Um, I saw a um, picture of it on Google and I thought I'd make it myself and have a go and see how it worked. Now it doesn't work exactly as it says online. Um, online it says you should have it up that way but I've had to put it that way because it's too heavy for the skimmer and the skimmer doesn't work properly. So if you set it like so, it still skims, still does its job and it stops fish or shrimp getting stuck underneath it. Hi guys, um, now I'm going to show you how to make the shrimp um, fish saver uh, for your Eheim 350 skim. Um, everything I need is pretty much here. Um, standing knife, empty plant pot, um, a clamp just in case I need to clamp it to the wood, a drill just because I want to make a nice hole um, yeah I'll, I'll talk through it as I do it right here goes guys there's the pot you can see it here um, I'm just gonna cut this down around there trim it up I'll show you so get your pot Put it about halfway, all the way around, like so. That's the piece you want. And see this section and this section. You want to cut all the rest off and just have a cross piece here. So I'm going to cut 
hier. Hier. Like this. The same on this side, just to make it easier. Right. Okay. So I'll do the rest. Doesn't have to be perfect to start with. Bits of plastic flying everywhere. Safety first, folks. Right, and you'll be left with that. So you need to cut off these for here. So my knife, my knife out, spread it out flat, like so, and just cut them off. As close as you can, because you want as little plastic as possible. So it floats because the Eheim skim works um, by floating basically. Oh god, getting all plastic in the way. You can tell it's done in real time, can you? Only thing planned here was me tools. Right, that's one. Basically, you're left with this little gizmo here. You see this little gizmo right here? The little four prongs on it, like that. What I'm going to do next is drill out this central hole, trim it up, cut these into little triangles, and then basically all you do. You sit it on top of your skimmer. I'll show you now. Use a bit of wood because I do not want to be drilling into my wife's uh, chopping board because she'll kill me. Use my, I'll use my knife first. Probably a way neater way of doing this. 
So if you guys got a Dremel or something, but I'm just using the tools I had handy. So as long as it looks the part. And as I said in a previous video, this isn't my design. This um, I found. I was looking for it because I had a problem, so I was looking for solutions, and I f happened to just find this online. But the guy had put photographs, but not any pictures. So I just decided, well, I made one. It works. Although his was supposed to be sat inside the tank, so I've kind of just flipped it upside down, basically. And I mean, you could probably 3D print something like this, but I don't have a 3D printer. I'm not that posh. I don't have a 3D printer. I go old school. Um, if you're in America, an X-Acto knife would probably be better than a Stanley, but... I'm using what I have available to me at the moment. So basically, this needs to be chopped out the centre. pretty but it should do the job to do what I do for the folks always try and cut away from you if you can right that's better so now what I'm going to do is just try and trim this up a little bit neater. Doesn't have to be perfect though. As long as it's relatively tidy, that of it doesn't have to be perfect. You're not even going to see it really. So this is more just purely for water flow, just to let because that's how the skimmer. I don't know if you guys know, or you probably do if you've got a skimmer, but the Eheim skim. Um, it's really sensitive. It literally just takes um, the uh, the surface t surface tension, and um, anything that impedes it is a nightmare. I clean mine every week. I mean, I run mine constantly. I know a lot of people put them on timers, but I run mine constantly because I want the extra flow in the tank as well. So it kind of serves two purposes in my tank. Right, now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and, try and, try and trim these as flat as I can and as thin as I can. There we go. That one was done. I mean, you can buy, I'm sure I've seen these, something similar for sale. You can buy them online, I think they're like um, 10, 10, 15 quid, euros, whatever it is, around about. But, uh, why not? Why not recycle if you can? I mean, what's this cost me? Nothing. Um, basically, a little bit of time. A little bit of patience. And those people who know me, know I don't have much patience. <laughs> And I'm not very good at DIY, so I'm no uh, Waru Joey or King of DIY, certainly not. But 
and uh, just thought I'd share this useful little tip or as Yuri's as Yuri's likes to say a pro tip this isn't a pro tip though this is just me DIYing you end up with something that looks a little bit like that can you see it? I don't know if you can focus there you go and I sit like that but I have mine sat like a spider like that now all I'm going to do now is just trim trim that area into a little chamfer like so take my scissors and just a bit fiddly and just chop the edges off like that so they're all the way around excuse my dog snoring in the background yes he's a French bulldog so they are, any of you who know Frenchies will know that they snore and there's not another place in my house oops Dropping these on the floor. Yeah. <sighs> or I can do this and not get disturbed. So just apologies for the. Mm. And that, as they say, is that. There you go. Sits like that. And if for any reason, what I do is I'll sit this in the the float. And if these fins are too long, um, here, just cut them so they're flush with the top. And that's it. Job done. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed um, that video, got something out of it. Um, yeah, I mean, you've already, I've already made one, so you, at the beginning of the video I showed you it working in place. Um, so, where did I put it? It's over here. So yeah, great little recycling, reusing tool. And like I said, I didn't come up with this idea. This was some pictures I found on um, Google. I tried it um when did i try it yesterday i thought oh i do video on this loads of people need to learn how to do this because it'll save hundreds of fish and shrimp it's free and you're recycling so it's awesome um yeah the the guy in the picture on google sat his in his skimmer this way and the water flows this way but I found, even with trimming the life out of this thing and making it really thin, it still didn't, it stopped the, um, it stopped the skimmer from working properly. Excuse my dog, he's snoring his head off at the back. Uh, the back. Um, so all I did to correct this was just flip it up like that. So the fins, these fins here, they still sit in the skimmer. They stop things going through and it allows enough water flow. Job done. And um, basically, if you do this, you have a go of it and you find that um, it's having an effect, like it's not skimming properly, just trim a little bit more plastic away. Um, like if you've got a Dremel, it'd be easy to go through that hole there. I mean, I had a big drill and the Stanley knife and scissors, so didn't really have the best tools for the job. It doesn't really look that neat, but it's black and when it's in the... Um, the skimmer it doesn't really um, doesn't do much um, apparently it's been a it's been a problem for the Eheim skim for for years since it came out see this here this bit the gaps there if you can focus hang on let me see if I can focus on that hang on let me see Let's see if I can focus on it no anyway the gaps here and here are just too big 
um, and they allow small shrimp and fish to be sucked in. Um, I had a problem, I had lost a couple of autos and every time I do a, a water change on my tank I noticed that there was shrimp inside. Luckily I didn't, I've only lost one I think because um, I turned it off and I managed to get them out before they before they die but um, yeah I, I lost a few little fish in there and during my research online I found it's been happening for years. I found posts on uh, UCAP's form dating back years. Um, I found posts all over the place but I didn't see a video of how to solve the problem and only now have I seen a few places like um, Green Aqua um, and there was a, a place that Yuri's um, shared that sell like a 3D printed thing that fits in um, but there's a bit of contribu uh, controversy over 3D print whether some of the chemicals used in the plastic to make the 3D whatever it is they use would it affect the fish um, long term? I don't know um, for sure, um, but this is just common old garden plastic that your your plant pots come in. So uh, they're made from. So it's not going to affect anything. It's going to be inert. It's not going to um, damage fish or anything. If there's any issues where you get your plants from, I mean, I know people like Aquaflora who I use um, and. Um, support me a most reputable um, plant suppliers don't use pesticides and stuff on them so you won't have to worry about that either but if you're a bit worried like you've bought something from eBay and are not sure where it's come from well just give it a rinse um, in some hot water and give it a scrub and then do the same thing and you should be good to go um, that's it thanks folks thanks for watching um, if you've got something from the video if you liked it um, if you have a go with this and you find it works for you, then um, give me a shout. Put it in the comments below. Um, I do apologise again for my dog snoring in the background. He's a French bulldog, so, you know, that's one of those things is what they do. Um, yeah, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Smash the bell button. Really appreciate it so you don't ever miss out on comment and seeing my wonderful face. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah and just share it around and if you think there's something in this and you know it works for you then share the love it's all about educating people and um, helping out where we can um, till the next time stay safe guys